Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create any of the, the Lego models or how to download any of the Lego models and also export it out and import into your Unreal Engine 4 to make it become your, your game object. So first you have to install the LeoCAD. You check the video description just to scroll down and go and download the LeoCAD. It's in your video description just to click the link. Download the LeoCAD. It depends on your operating systems. Maybe you are using the Microsoft Windows or Linux or Mac OS. Next, go and download the Blender. Blender is a totally free and open source software. You need to use the Blender to convert it. So go and download and install the Blender. These two software. So now as a demo, I will just open my LeoCAD. And I will create a really simple model here. For example, now I change the color. I put put some something here. And I choose another brick. Alright, maybe I want to change the color to blue. Next. I want to put a plant here, so most probably I will choose the green color to put a plant here. Or I just want to create create some models. I have a lot of bricks. Let's say this one. I use a yellow color. And Okay, now I put one at here. All right, now we consider this is a complete model, and this is just a demo, a very simple demo. Let's say I want I want to change color, so it's okay. Now next, you have to export. File export as a wavefront. This is an OBJ file. The first step, export on my desktop as a model. Model 01. Just a demo. And OBJ. Where is it? Okay, now the model 01. Next, you have to use the Blender as a, as a converter to make it become FBX file. This is the latest version of the Blender. First, I will delete all these three, the camera, the cube, and the light. I select and press delete button to delete it. Next, file, import. Import the OBJ wavefront from my desktop. It is on my desktop, so now I double click it. Now you can see it is totally, totally wrong directions. So I will just click here. And make sure click here the rotation X make it become zero. Now next, it is just one single mesh. Next, you have to export it out. File, export as FBX file. Same I will do and export on my desktop. Remember the path mode you have to select copy. And here. You have to make sure embed the texture. Then export the FBX. I will name it probably model 01. Export. Alright, now the model 01 FBX file is here. So both you see OBZ and FBX file, they are the same. You cannot see any of the file extension yet. So it will it will confuse you. So I suggest you to right-click your file explorer. And then click File Explorer, click View, click Options. Make sure that you click the View and untick here, hide extension for known file type and click OK. Now you can see the file extension for all the files. So actually what we want is the FBX file. You don't be confused with 
with it. If without the file extension, sometimes you don't know where is it. All right. So model 01 FBX, this is the one that's successfully converted by using the Blender and now you can import into your Unreal Engine 4. Now as demo, I will open my Unreal Engine 4. The Unreal Editor, just wait for a while until it finish loading. Right now, as demo, I will just create a game and I will select third person. And here, I will just name it Lego Lego 2 and Unreal Engine 4 Demo 01. Now, I create a new project. Alright now, this is your new game. Click the content and open a new folder here. I'll put it Lego model. Double click into the Lego model. Here I will right click and open a new folder. Model 01. For every single model, for every single model, you have to open a new folder for it. So double click the model 01 and drag in the FBX file. Now you can delete the OBJ file and you just need the FBX file that converted through the blender. You drag in. Make sure you don't, don't click the skeleton mesh because we, we just want a static mesh. Click import all and close this. Now it is compiling the shader, just need to wait for a while. Alright now, it already finished compiling all the shadows. You can just drag, drag in your model. It will be giant size. The scale can just make it 0 0.01. 0 0.01 and here also 0 0.01. Now the model is here. Alright, the next thing, if you try to play, you can see now the model is here, but the collision is not, not yet properly been set. So we don't want like this. What should you do? So you have to set all the collisions. Just, just point on the static mesh in your folder, double click it. 
and then you drag it down to make sure that the collisions you set it as use complex collision then click save and close now you try to play again you can see and now all the collision already properly been set now all the co collision already correct it have the complex collisions so now that that is the way that how to create a, a 3D models by using the LeoCAD and import into your Unreal Engine 4. Next, I'm going to show you that actually there's a website. You can download any of the 3D mod models of Lego models from there. This is omr.ldraw.org files. So now I, I will just do a very simple demo. Control C to copy this link. It is in your video description. You can just go there to find it out. I will paste here. All right, from here, you can search anything. You can download any of the 3D models of Lego. So now I, I just try to search car. And I just simply click one. The space police car or race car. The space police car. Seem it is a very cool model, so now I click download. After you download it, that is an MPD file. This is MPD file. As demo, I will just cut and paste on my desktop. Alright, the MPD file, you can open by using your LeoCAD. In your LeoCAD, this is a previous model, I want to save it, file save as. I save on my desktop and the model 01. So I will save as, save as a LeoCAD file. Once I save it, that is an LDR file. But when you download from, from the website, that is an MPD file. So now you can open the MPD file as well. Just drag in to your LeoCAD. So now you can see. 3D models is already the Lego models are already in, in your LeoCAD. This is exactly the, the 3D models that you just downloaded from the website. Of course, you can always edit it anytime. You can edit it as well. See, now I just want to add an element here. You can add it anytime. Let's say I want to add somewhere here. All right, now I add, add one more here. Maybe I, I add this. All right, next, I use the same way to export it out. File export as Wavefront. Wavefront should be here. I will just, just remain the original name, save. Save on my desktop. This one, the space police car. Next, I use the blender again. But remember, the blender you always have to start a new general file and don't save the previous one. Just delete everything from the blender. Next, drag in. No, 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 no. In blender you cannot drag in. So file import. The obj file, the wavefront obj file from your desktop. The space car, the space police car dot obj. Then back to you click again back to here. The rotation should back to zero. Next, export it out. File export, export as fbx file, and do the same way. The path mode have to choose copy. Here, here you have to make sure embed the texture. It's on my desktop. I want to put the same file name, space police car, control C to copy this file name, and paste here, control V, export the FBX file. 
Now you have the F FBX file of the space police car back to my Unreal Engine. So in the Unreal Engine, I will back to the Lego model folder. I will open a new folder, right click, open a new folder. I paste it, use, sorry, it's, that is a file name, space police car. Double click in, drag in the FBX file. Make sure you don't take the skeleton mesh, you click import all. The scale, the, the uniform scale, as just now, so here you better put 0 0.01 because it is too big already. Just now, I click import all and close. Now, it is compiling the shader. You have to always wait. Wait until it finish. The shader is compiled. All right, now you can see all the materials is ready and the models is ready. Double click the model, same as just now, drag down. Make sure you adjust the collision. The collision complexity changed to use complex collision as symbol. Next, click save and close. Drag out the model. Now, if I want to make it bigger, I can press press R to make it bigger. Now, I try to play. I try to play. The collision is ready. The collision is very awesome. It's automatically set by using the complex collisions that automatic follow the mesh. Alright, that's all for today about how to use the LeoCAD to create any of the 3D models or go to the website to download any of the LEGO models and import into your Unreal Engine 4 as a game object. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate the, the notification so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.